Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Now I'm going to tell you this week did not go smoothly. It did not go as planned and none of my projects turned out quite as I'd hoped. So bear with me. I think there's still some value here as we go down the road of imperfection. This week our coasters are going to be fall inspired coasters. So I have this nice large leaf from last year that I had flattened and forgot about in my dictionary. And it's not flat flat, but it's hopefully good enough. And I have a little bit of easy cast mix. And I am just going to dome my leaf. And by doming, all I mean is I'm dripping it on top of the leaf just to cover it. And we'll see how it looks all soaked in and everything. I'm just bringing the resin to the edges. Now I'm going to add a little bit of resin to the stem as well. So I'll run the resin along the whole stem. We'll see if we can't preserve it. So I'm covering the stem, but I am going to take my stir stick and kind of take that excess resin away. So this leaf is not going to lay flat, which is okay. Maybe you can dry your leaf better than I was able to dry mine. We're going to let it sit. Now I am going to take my lighter and very quickly run it over. Remember you're working with a very dry leaf. You do not want to set anything on fire. Okay, we're going to let this cure for 12 hours before we handle it. So here's the first one and I did make a mistake. I peeled this off the paper and dropped it before it was dry. So I have this, I don't know if you can see it, this white mark here that I can't get rid of. So this would have been a beautiful coaster on its own if I hadn't done that and dropped it. I would have put a coat on the back but since I dropped it, there's no use doing that. But look how pretty that would have been with the colors. But I'm going to do two additional versions. If you remember when I did the Suicide Squad coasters, I painted the molds in with pigment powder. We're going to do that again, but this time we're going to use a combination of a blue and a purple. So we have two different colors on there, thinking maybe that would be kind of a cool effect. So I have two different brushes, and I'm going to just start working the colors on here and that purple is actually one of the dual colors where it's purple but then it also has a brassy look to it so it looks very purple in the container but right now it looks pretty purple or pretty gold from my perspective so we'll see how it looks when we get the resin on there and they have a very blue and gold look instead of a purple and blue which that's okay too i have my fast cast and because this stuff sets up so quickly um, I want to put the color into the part A before I start mixing it. Otherwise it sets up before I've even mixed the colors together. And remember this will cure white. So whatever color you put in there is going to have a lighter color than you might expect. So I'm going to put a drop of black in just in case. Now what I am going to also do, which I have not tried before, is I'm going to put a little bit of the pigment powder in here. I think I'm going to lose it all. I don't think there will be any shimmer because of it, but it does not hurt to try. Now when I get all of that mixed well into that part of it, I'm going to pour both parts into a clean cup. There's not a whole lot of working time. Always follow the directions on the package of whatever resin you are using, um, just so that you're aware of the limitations or um, what it can or cannot do. So I poured it into the mold and that's about one ounce. So each of these will have one ounce for their bases. So this time I have done blue pigment um, with a little black and then I did blue pigment powder. Okay, we'll pour it right in and we'll see what happens. I think the other one is pretty close to being cured. These leaves have been sealed and I'm going to just place them in here. I'm going to use just a little bit of super glue just to tack it down so they don't float. So just a dot is should be plenty just to stick it down. And then I'm going to put this one in here but that's still setting up so I don't want to do it quite yet. Okay, now I'm going to put this one on the blackish bluish one. Put a little glue down. Okay, we'll give it a couple minutes to dry. The glue has dried on the leaves and we are going to put a nice layer down. Embed all of this. 
pop the bubbles, let it sit for 12 hours, and we'll, then we will unmold them. So for the sake of argument, had I done it right, this is what it would look like as a coaster. That would be really cool. So if you are out finding really nice big leaves, press them and make them, make them into really amazing coasters. Now some days nothing goes right, and I kind of feel like this whole week has been that way. So here is the coaster. There's the back, and here's the front. So that one's okay. I did get um, a flaw here. I don't know why. So here is the other one, which is really cool, except for the big, huge bubble that I got here. And I kept getting a bubble there, and I kept taking it down, and it's really, really thin. I mean, I must have popped it five or six times, and then I checked before I went to bed, and I thought, no, this is hardening. We're out of the woods. Clearly, we were not out of the woods. What I can do, because I was able to poke a hole in it, because it was so thin, is I can just dome this, and it will fill in with resin, and it'll be fine. So this is a beautiful coaster, just not yet. Now, if you got a bubble deep down in there under the resin, you wouldn't be able to fix that, but when it's up on the surface like that, it's, no, it's really not that big of a deal. We can take care of that. So here are these two coasters. Here is what would have been, I think, an amazing coaster. Be sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Which one is your favorite? And maybe throw me a thumbs up for trying. Time for the fishbowl. Now, I do need to let you know the next several weeks I won't be picking from the fishbowl. I'll still be doing coasters, but there's some fall and Halloween ones that I want to do and make sure that I get them in because a lot of times all of a sudden a holiday will pass and I'll have like done nothing for it. So I want to make sure I get those in. It doesn't mean you can't keep putting some ideas in there. If I need a little inspiration, you may um, just hit what I'm looking for. So don't worry, we will start it up again. So let's do it. Jenny Parcher, coasters from food, like oatmeal, rice, or cereal. So that is what I'm going to do next week. Be sure to tune in for that. And if you have any food suggestions, um, be feel, feel free to throw that in too. And um, maybe I'll add that to it as well. So I will definitely see you next time. Remember, if you are working on any projects, be sure to share them over on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash craftclotch1. Don't forget the one behind Craft Clutch. Remember, I have a new video every Monday and every Friday, and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe.